गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी डिस्कस विद अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज पॉवर्टी एज ए चैलेंज थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स और इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पॉवर्टी द मल्टी डायमेंशन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पॉवर्टी देन वी आर आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द दैट वॉट आर द कोजिज ऑफ पॉवर्टी वॉट आर द एंटी पॉवर्टी प्रोग्राम स्टार्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया and what is the trends of poverty in india and the world okay and poverty estimations so all this content discuss in this chapter now we are uh, discuss the first thing that is what is poverty one must know what it is a challenge in our not only in our country but most of the country this poverty is prevalent in many part of the uh, world but in india it is uh, one of the major problem so what is poverty so how you define poverty so poverty is uh, is it is a just a state of being poor okay mean a person who do not having uh, enough money to meet basic needs okay including the food shelter and cloth when this food shelter and cloth are in endangered that mean this person belong to the below poverty line ppl okay so what are the reason of this poverty why there is there is a poverty in india or you know that in as per the 2000 uh, 2000 uh, that is uh, our poverty ratio is 26% people they are below poverty line okay so why it is so what are the reason so reasons are there are so many reason but there are some reason that i have written here as in your book and charity book that is first landlessness okay a person those who, who do not have a land that person belong to poverty land because that person they, they cannot do anything anything at the agriculture type activities so uh, that person tends to poor poverty there is no work A person become unemployed, so this leads to the poverty. Second, it is the unemployment. It is also a major factor in India because a largest populous country, there is very uh, less jobs. So, uh, the person, uh, mo- most of person, they become unemployed, and unemployed turn to low income. Low income tends to the poverty. This is the second reason. Third, that is the size of family. the size of families also matter a lot uh, in a poor family there are a uh, uh, more person in a one family okay and when the more member in a one family it is difficult to survive and they cannot uh, manage their two square of meals in a day because they have they have very little income uh, earned by them so it is difficult to feeding the children and the other member of the families so this size of families also depend okay the what is the size of family that is matter a lot if there is a big family or most of the uh, in a rural area you can say the po- uh, the family which are under the poverty line their family is size is very large okay it may be a psychological reason that they raise the family so that uh the survival rate in the poverty it is very less so they raise the family five or six children so if they are two or three are die the rest will be survive so that's why they raise the family in a large number but this all tends to uh, leads to the poverty then uh, uh, next one is illiteracy it is also a factors which is matter a lot okay illiteracy in our country you know that most of the uh, in a uh, women uh, they were illiterate okay 54 57 uh, percentage total the literacy rate of women the so most of unemployment is there so the these all section is of society is related to the poverty or in india also not all there is a literacy rate still in some part of state is very less so these all related to this uh, cause of the poverty and uh, next the poor health if the person is no malnutrition problem the if the health is not uh, if its health is not good the person is not efficient his productivity is very less he is he cannot do any work if a person is 
suffering with any disease from the beginning you know that how he could survive so it is very difficult to survive and he cannot earn anything and if he cannot earn anything this person also lead to the poverty so this is also cause child labor this uh, child labor you have seen in a many part of our india also okay and other word also i think so so uh, the child labor it is also a, a signal of a poverty where the children are working okay because their income of family is very less so all the people or oh, sorry all the member of the uh, this uh, family they work they earning their a uh, small income okay and that is uh, only to survive to manage their two square of meal so all people all member of their family they work together and earn small small income and so that they can uh, survive their life and the next that is the helplessness okay a person who is totally isolated okay uh, there is no help from any side then it tends to the helplessness or a person is helplessness this uh, this is also a cause of poverty there is no help from the government side no help from the society from the neighbor and no other people okay this is cause a uh, poverty so these are the causes of poverty sometimes this question may be asked what is poverty so you have to explain when the person not having enough money to meet their basic needs okay and the causes of poverty now we have a poverty as seen by the social scientist mean how social scientist scientist seen this poverty a uh, phenomena in our society this is a prevalent in our in our country or you know that our country is uh, uh, every fourth uh, every fourth candidate is every fourth candidate in india is a poor okay so uh, this is a uh, one of the largest poorest country in the world then uh, there is a two bases by which social scientist define this phenomena or dimension of poverty one is social exclusion and second is vulnerability in a social exclusion that is a uh, socially boycotted the poor people they are socially boycotted they lived in the poor areas okay they lived in the poor the poor always lived with the other poor or they are lived in the isolated areas okay apart from the cities apart from the villages and apart uh, f- uh, from the uh, towns mean they are poor only live in the poor surrounding they cannot live with the highly rich people or rich people cannot sur- live with the poor people this is a general phenomena jo apne jhuggiyan dekhi hogi jhuggiyan jo hoti hain wo unka slums area that is only in one particular areas okay so this is some one of the phenomena the seen by a social scientist the poor will be uh, live with the poor people poor surrounding isolated areas and second is a vulnerability vulnerability mean there is a greater probability of poverty okay greater probability of poverty in the some section of society section of society society that is uh that is uh, handicapped and uh, um, widows theek hai sc st obcs theek hai okay these people having a greater probability of poverty or when there is any disaster these people facing more problem during that time or in general people we have seen that the backward classes the other backward classes the st people scs people okay and uh, ignorant people and the handicapped the widows these all were having a more problem during these any natural calamities so these are the two uh, terms that are defined by the social scientists that one is social exclusion and second is 
vulnerability so today we have discussed about the three uh, question that is what is poverty what are the causes of poverty and second that is how the poverty is seen by the social scientists what is social exclusion and what is vulnerability thank you and have a nice day next topic will be discussed in the next class thank you